Hi, I'm Paul Lavish with Synergy Electrical Sales. Today, I'm gonna to go over passive infrared motion sensing technology. The goal of the video is to get you a little more comfortable with how the technology works, so that can help you with sensor placement, sensor maintenance, and sensor troubleshooting. So what we're talking about is motion sensors that look like this. And if you look on the close-up, around our lens, we have, it's a circle, and then we have these little lines that form little pie-shaped um, sensing zones. And the way the sensor works, it actually senses your body heat, which is usually 98 degrees, versus the background heat in the room, usually 72 degrees. And if I make a little sketch here, if we take that sensor and we put it in the center of our, center of our room, what it has is these little pie-shaped sensing zones that come out of the sensor. Got one more over here. And the way that it senses motion, it's actually when you move perpendicular to these sensing zones. And the reason that's important is that, let's say this is a room, uh, drop room around here. So if that's our room and this is our door, if we walk into the room and we walk in this direction, we're actually walking parallel to the sensing zones. And because of that, it may take a few moments for the sensor to pick us up. Where if we had the door over here, we walk in, moving this direction, we're starting to go, especially if you had one like this, we're starting to go perpendicular to the sensing technology. So just something to think about with sensor placement. So if we had the door here and we wanted that sensor to pick you up immediately, it, we, we could slide it over just a little bit this way and it would sense you better um, as you walk in the room. Um, a few questions that we get about passive infrared sensors. One that I get a lot is, does the sensing technology see through windows? And it does not. So clear that one up. Um, so what are some drawbacks of the passive infrared sensors? Well, one, um, they don't see uh, through objects. So if this is our motion sensor, um, another sensing zone here. And let's say here we had just a maybe a little office cubicle wall that's five feet high. Well, if someone's over here, or maybe they're behind a, a, a large computer screen, which happens sometimes. If someone's over here, that sensor's not gonna see you. It has to be line of sight. So that's something to consider. Um, one of the other drawbacks of the passive infrared sensor technology is the coverage zone. So for this sensor, typically that will cover a 20 foot by 20 foot room. Okay, and that works great in offices, classrooms, open offices. It does a really nice job for those sensors. But something like a corridor um, that could be really, you know, a few hundred feet long, you would need a lot of those sensors. So those are some of the drawbacks. Um, but the, the really nice thing, and uh, I have great success with passive infrared sensors, and we see them more and more on projects, is that if you're in this area of coverage, um, the sensor is going to see you. So it's always gonna keep the lights on. And when you leave that area, it's gonna shut the lights off um, just like it should. So we have this coverage covered. Um, one thing I'm gonna share with you, cause this is an issue that we run in with the sensors is that um, <coughs> let's say we had a heating and air conditioning register right here, right next to our sensor. Well, again, the sensor looks for body heat versus background heat, and that's how it senses motion. So the airflow, right, coming out of this, this register could make that sensor think that someone's there in the room and turn on uh, automatically, or it could never shut off if that heat keeps blowing throughout the night. So what we want is we want the sensor, now I'm, I'm not moving the heating register, but what I wanna show you is that we wanna be six feet away, the sensor from the register. If that's ideal. Four feet, we can live with. If it's right next to it, you're going to have some problems. So hope that makes you a little more comfortable with the technology. Thanks for watching. And let me know in comments if you have any questions. Thanks. Take care.